Hey, what's up guys? This is Saurav here from Techyard and today we are back with another video. In this video, we are going to show you how to go back or downgrade your OS in the UU Eureka. We are going to we are going back to KitKat from the Lollipop. I just have updated to Lollipop and now I'm going to show you how to go back to the uh, KitKat via using the command prompt. And now I'm going to show you the OS version I am currently having in my phone. Well, uh, it's lagging a lot and that's, that's why I'm going to move to KitKat again. You can see that the Android version is 5.0.2 which means it's, I have the Cyanogen Mod 12 and now I'm gonna back to the uh, KitKat with the help of uh, Cyanogen Mod and some uh, apps and some softwares. So so let's get together. Now we are here and I have the Eureka factory image of Cyanogen Mod 11 and I have the fastboot files and you can find them in the description. So I have, I have unzipped them into a new folder and I'm clicking the shift and right click and now I'm using the uh, the uh, CM, CMD and now I'm gonna uh, copy all these things uh, into this uh, command prompt one by one make sure that you always uh, copy each and every line one by one and then click enter and then it will work and it is telling me to click the volume up button of my phone and I've done that I'm using erasing the user data and from now on I will be copying each and every line and then I'm gonna put paste them in the command prompt and then uh, I'm gonna accelerate the whole process so here we are now now it's time for the second line as you can see Well, in case of uh, if you don't have uh, uh, the uh, Windows 8 or 8.1 or Windows 10, you can uh, you have to manually write all these things into the command prompt and then you have to do, do the thing. And but if you have a Windows 8, 8.1 or 10, you can easily copy and paste them. And again, I'm telling you that uh, we this is a, a experimental video. This is a tutorial as well. But we can't guarantee you that this process, this procedure will work 100% on your phone. But we will show you that this procedure is working on our phone on my on our eureka but this this procedure might not work on your phone so if you are using this uh, do it at your own risk we won't be responsible if your device get pricked or uh, something like that happens to it so uh, again i'm telling you that uh, do it on your own risk and uh, i have put i have uh, put the uh, link to the uh, fast boot uh, files and the uh, cm11 uh, the uh, flashable zip on the description you can check that and on the details procedure will be also written in our blog i have also put down that the link on the description so you can check that uh, so now we are already in a middle position of this uh, copying and pasting and we are doing it and as you can uh, see it's gonna take some time to clean the system now the last format is the cache format well it's taking some time to delete the user data now i'm gonna paste it again wait for a minute yes it's been done and now it's time to flash the files now mind it again that you have to do it one by one you just don't need to copy all all, all of the files and then put it uh, then paste it just one line per every time you have to copy it and then paste it on the uh, comment prompt or write it if you if it's uh, if it's not available in your ways so in this way you have to just uh, continue the whole procedure it's gonna take some time and some patience of yours but you have to do it in but it is only possible in this way We are just about to complete the whole procedure.
we are now flashing a lot of files into this system and uh, we are uh, about to complete the whole thing now it's time to boot flash the boot boot image then it's time for flashing the recovery image and now comes the system image well uh, this is gonna take some time because uh, it's a huge file and mind it that uh, the CM11 flashable zip the uh, the main, the primary uh, flashable zip that came with the Eureka for the first time when Eureka was launched you have to unzip that and put that all the files in a single folder and then the the first boot file the first boot uh, the uh, zip you have to open that zip you have to unzip all the files and put that files in the same folder the, in the folder that you have uh, placed all the files of the system or the CM11 zip so keep that in mind and also check our website we will uh, also, ch also check our blog we will definitely we have we will definitely give you the full description how to use use this procedure how to make this processor happen so uh, we are about to we are again unlocking the uh, fast boot so that uh, and, and mind it that it is gonna wipe all your data all your internal data so uh, keep that in mind that is gonna wipe all your data and it's not taking some time now it's now it's about to want to format the cache and now it's time to reboot the phone and i have rebooted the phone well as you can see in the the phone is still in the fast boot mode and i'm still uh, in the fast boot mode and it's gonna reboot soon well uh, just give me a time actually it's a pre-recorded video my i was still doing coding at that moment so just wait for a minute now it's attributed and as you can see the logo has come so it means that the phone hasn't been bricked well, uh, just zoom out a little bit yes the phone hasn't been bricked we can see I was coding there just let me put the phone right there and uh, we can see we probably are back in uh, CM11 and the Android KitKat 4.4.4 and probably this phone is gonna switch on and boot up and then show us the screen so just give us a time give the whole procedure a time it's gonna take some time for the first boot and uh, let me just so uh, you can see that uh, this hydrogen logo is still there and it's still uh, working I want to boot up and it's about to gonna happen just wait for a minute as you can see we are back in this anogen welcome screen and it's uh, offering me uh, which language should i use and um, just uh, just give me a minute yes i'm here and just take the plug off and you can see that uh, the uh, it's telling me to uh, select the language and i'm still taking some time to uh, boot all the things up and um, just keep it no, just telling me through all these things. So, uh, well, uh, 
just finish all these things and just get into the screen we, we can set it up later set all these things up we will uh, set all these things up later now let me show you the android version well you can see it is the 4.4.4 kitkat version yes we have successfully downgraded from official cyanogen mod 12 to official cyanogen mod 11 and uh, again thanks for watching the video guys if you liked our video do give us a thumbs up don't like the video do give us a thumbs down and don't forget to subscribe to our channel again thanks for watching have a nice day bye